or try to remember while I'm editing. Dude, I was just talking good about you. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Cool Fears channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the Mezco Toys, Marvel, and Netflix's Daredevil. But first, if you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures, analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them. Make sure to hit that bell icon so you stay notified when I do upload new content constantly throughout the week. And if you guys want to support the channel in any way, all I ask is you guys watch my videos from start to finish, as well as going ahead and hitting that like button if you guys are enjoying the content that I put out and if you haven't already go ahead and check out those Amazon affiliate links down below where you can find a bunch of cool figures as well as other stuff associated with toy photography and much more and if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button guys it is a very small goal of mine try to reach at least one new subscriber per new video that I put out so please be my one new subscriber for this video thank you so much in advance as always the information on the channel is intended for adult collectors and not children and before we get started I just want to say thank you so much to this channel sponsor V-Rare Store check them out for all your Funko Pop anime and Pokemon card needs and of course use code cool figures at checkout for 10% off V-Rare store check them out so with that being said guys we are once again taking a look at the Mezco Toys 112th collective Marvel and Netflix's Daredevil now I have definitely been wanting this figure for a while because I do love Daredevil ever since I was a child he was probably my second favorite Marvel character growing up next to Spider-Man um, and I was introduced to him through the animated Spider-Man cartoon and his story arc when he was in that show and it was from that that I fell in love with it and then I also grew up with DVDs of the original Incredible Hulk show with uh, the bodybuilder Lou Frigno all you know painted up in green and uh, hulked out and whatnot so I grew up with that and in that uh, TV show uh, they have a whole Daredevil arc, so that was really cool. So me growing up, I, I had those two DVDs. I had the DVDs of uh, the Spider-Man and Daredevil, uh, you know, storyline, and I had the Incredible Hulk and Daredevil storyline, like specifically those DVDs. Like that's what it said on those uh, covers and whatnot. So that was really cool, and I always loved uh, Daredevil, and the Hulk was definitely up there with those two guys. Uh, he's definitely one of my favorite Marvel characters as well, uh, just being a big green giant guy and if you've been following this channel long enough you know my favorite color is green so a giant green hulking guy and I'm a bodybuilder so to me that's enough and then now growing up as a bodybuilder just knowing that a bodybuilder played the Hulk back in the 70s which is pretty crazy uh, you know it just comes full circle and everything for me so with that being said guys I did manage to pick this guy up for $60 uh, brand new off of offer up once again guys do not overpay for your Mesco toys. There are deals to be had out there. All you have to do is search and be patient and be willing to talk with sellers. Be kind, you know, be uh, friendly. Don't be a dick. Don't be a you know, jerk, you know. You're trying to get a good deal from them and they're trying to get a sale from you. So if you guys are both on equal ground, it tends to work out a lot better. So this guy had him up for, I think, $80 and then he had a flash sale for 70 And I was like, yo. I'll give you 60 bucks right now and he was like deal you've got it here it is here's the offer and so I went ahead and jumped on it and to be honest guys this guy in my opinion is worth $60 not anything higher uh, because he doesn't really come with too much he comes with enough he comes with what he needs but you know it, it, it is very lacking in accessories when it comes to being a Mezco toy um, and I've bought you know regular standard Mezco toys that come with so many accessories like the Green Lantern uh, and I'll try to remember to link that up above here so you can check it out I'll uh, link my Green Lantern Mezco John Stewart review right there that thing came with so many accessories it was insane uh, and same thing with the Sovereign Knight Batman uh, and the Supreme Knight Batman and the Joker from Gotham by Gaslight. Uh, but it's just weird how some of these will come with a lot of accessories and others won't. Uh, but like I said, this guy doesn't come with too much. So I'm happy that I was able to find the deal for $60 brand new. I ripped the plastic off of everything. Uh, so that's really, really cool. Like I said, be patient, be friendly. Uh, and look around guys the deals are to, are out there to be had you know so don't overpay for your mescos the only time you're gonna overpay for a mesco if if it's like out of you know stock and whatnot like the joker oh phew. 
you're gonna pay like 600 bucks for even a used mezco joker like the original release with like the three six heads or something like that so uh yeah those there's some that you can get around but there are others that you can definitely work around and work some deals with so with that being said guys let's go ahead and take a look at what this guy came with since i keep saying he didn't come with much but he did come with some stuff so of course first and foremost you do get the mezco 112 collective accessory bag in case you want to get rid of you know the box he does come with an alternate head sculpt now i wish he came with a third head sculpt which would have made the price point the original retail price point a little better in my opinion if he would have came with a second uh you know alternate head sculpt and that would be a battered and bloody uh head sculpt and even an unmasked charlie cox uh matt murdoch head sculpt would be great but i don't think they were able to secure his likeness and that's why that's not included here uh because you do get a regular faced head sculpt out of the box as you can see right there and the second one is a growling kind of like fighting face and whatnot but i really wish they would have put a little bit of blood on this face like i think that would have made it 10 times better um and that's why i'm saying i wish it would have came with a second masked head where he has blood and everything and honestly he could have came with two matt murdoch heads one where he's all bloody and bruised and one where he's just fine because you know there's those scenes where Matt's just beat to shit and you know he's laying there on the couch and karen's there and you know that's when she finds out that he's daredevil and all this other oh sorry guys spoiler alert for a tv show that's like what almost 10 years at this 10 years old at this point like is it or maybe seven or eight i don't know but I don't know about you guys, but I really hope that the rumors are true that Charlie Cox's Daredevil art is in Spider-Man uh, No Way Home because I would, I'm would i going to lose my mind in the theaters if Charlie Cox shows up in Far From Home, or I'm sorry, uh, No Way Home, uh, because like I said, I absolutely love Daredevil. I love this TV series, and I'm so mad that we're not going to get a conclusion to it, and we're never going to really see it unless they are willing to bring Charlie Cox into the MCU, and I really hope that they do because like I said, I absolutely love this version of daredevil he was the perfect version i loved the way his suit looked on screen i loved the way i mean a lot of people complain about foggy and karen but i i didn't mind them you know so with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at some of his alternate hands so he does come with of course being matt murdoch you know and being the son of you know uh what's his dad's name uh fighting matt murdoch or something like that he does come with a pair of fisted hands so you can dove out some of that vigilante justice in hell's kitchen you know so as you can tell i'm very excited about this figure and i'm super excited at the price that i got him for because it's definitely worth it he does come with a pair of like action grip action open grip hands so you see it here he has it open somewhat it's kind of like a relaxed grip but it's also kind of used for action poses at the same time so last but certainly not least he comes with a pair of Billy Club holding hands. So right there, as you can see, it slides right in. Uh, very nicely detailed. I love the amazing detail that Mezco always pays, especially to the hands. Like, look at the separation in the paint. There's no spillover. There's really nothing wrong with it. And even if you're looking at the palm, like, let me pull the open hand over here so you can see. There's, like, texturing to the glove right there. So you can see um like i said just the attention to detail that's why i always say mezco is definitely the hot toys of like 112 scale because i mean look at this so magnificent and beautiful so next up he does come with two billy clubs um which you know is what he uses to delve out the justice so you do get two separate billy clubs right here whoops one is longer than the other and they do whoops let me see connect right there so you can connect it and have one long billy club or you can have two separate ones in his hand it's really up to you it just plugs in right there nice and easy slides out and as you saw i did pull it from a holster on his thigh oh you want the silver side to go up so that the red side just slips right in right there whoops kind of slidey and this one right there so they both fit in right there nicely on this uh thigh holster that he has so that's really cool and then you can just have him with the fist if you want right there and he could be getting down with some thugs now i need to buy some thugs for him to beat up <laughs> um but anyways guys with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at the final stuff that he comes with he does of course come with the typical mezco flight stand and of course the typical custom to the figure base stand so as you can see it is just all glossy black with the netflix daredevil logo sprawled across and of course 
the nice little clear marble sign right there. So that's really nice, really cool. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and pull this guy forward and take a closer look at this guy. So as you can see, it is a very nicely done and detailed suit. It is all cloth, so it's not like rubbery uh uh, leather material like this all around kind of like the suit is in the show But it makes sense because that would be a very hard material to use in a figure especially for articulation purposes And also just wear and tear you don't want too much of this fox leather or on your figure because uh, it has a tendency to not age too well uh, So I'm gonna have to be very careful with this maybe wipe it down with something uh, Made to make that kind of fake leather last a little bit longer So let me go ahead and pull his arms down so you can see all the nice detail in his outfit or you uniform or costume whatever you want to call it um, as you can see he does have a nice shoulder pad right here that is just basically like a sticker essentially so it doesn't hinder any movement really but it, it is basically just kind of like a sticker so it does kind of look a little wonky a little fake um, so here's a look at the back of his legs he does have a pair of straps right here that look like they're on elastic bands uh, it's probably just you know bands that he has on the costume that they just had to fit in on there uh, so yeah guys very nice all the way around very cool I absolutely love this figure like I said definitely my favorite interpretation of daredevils and i'm sure everybody's as well I'm, i don't know who would say ben Affleck was but um yeah guys super cool so with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at this guy's articulation he can look of course all the way to the right all the way to the left he can just move his arm down look down that far he can look up pretty far which is good because he's always looking up in buildings and whatnot. Uh, at least I, if I can remember correctly. I need to rewatch that show now. Man, now that I'm reviewing this guy, I need to go rewatch this whole series. Um, man, I really hope they continue out on Disney Plus later on and give us a conclusion at least. At least one more season, Disney. Please, one more season of this Daredevil so we can at least get a conclusion, a fitting end to the best Daredevil we've ever gotten. So with that rambling out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation. Uh, his shoulder does rotate but he is very hindered by uh this outfit he does have rotation at the bicep as well once again hindered by the outfit he does come with double hinge joints but once again the outfit does not allow him to go past 90 degrees like i said this fox leather leather just does not flex and move around uh you know too easily it gets caught it gets stuck it has not it doesn't have too much flexibility so it hinders the movement quite a bit uh but you can still get him into some really cool poses he does have articulation at the wrist ball rotation right there and of course up down in and out whichever way you have it facing he does have really good articulation at the waist right there because his costume is two separate pieces but they are stuck to him uh but they didn't stick it to uh the bottom right here from the shirt to the uh, top of the pants so you do get some nice rotation uh, slight ab crunch forward slight ab crunch back uh, looking at his leg articulation once again with the fox leather he cannot join the cheerleading squad as you can see he can not only kick out that far looking at his leg articulation he can kick out that far and that's the leg with the holster right there as you can see he can kick back that far he does come with double hinged knees but once again the outfit is super tight and it only allows you to go back that far um, looking at his ankle, he does have slight uh, thigh swivel right there at the top. Looking at his ankle articulation, it goes that far down, that far up, and does have a ball uh, swivel joint right there. It's very hindered because they are combat boots, so they kind of rub into each other. Uh, so his, toe, his foot articulation is kind of off, but you can get him to stand flat. You just have to play with him and get him to balance see right there he's balancing very nicely and i didn't have to do too much and i actually set him down with one hand so not too bad especially compared to the joker review that i did yesterday i totally forgot to go into the uh, but uh his feet are very very wonky they aren't flat uh they kind of have like that raised at the at the tip of them so he kind of doesn't stand too well i totally meant to go into that during my review and i forgot so if you saw that review yesterday and you were wondering why i didn't go into it eventually I, I just forgot so if you want to check out that review I will try to remember while I'm editing dude I was just talking good about you while I'm editing to put it up here to link it above, up above so you guys can check it out so with that being said guys let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool pictures that I took of this guy and we'll be right back <laughs>
Alright guys, thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those pics, you can find the full images over on Instagram at CoolFigures. And I do have a separate Instagram account for my more thought out, planned out, more edited pics called Epic Shots by CoolFigures. Check it out if you like what you see, leave me a follow there as well. And if you guys want to see the unboxing of this figure or any other figures that I do reviews on for this channel, check me out on TikTok at CoolFigures. That's where I do all my unboxings because when I get a new toy, I am like a child and I just want to rip it open and I don't have time to set up my YouTube studio and record. So I go ahead and just film it on my phone real quick and upload it to TikTok. TikTok. So check me out at Cool Figures and join me Sunday mornings for Coffee and Toys, a weekly toy news toy talk podcast where we will talk all the latest toy news, toy reveals, and pre-orders and everything else related to toys. Sunday mornings, Coffee and Toys. Hope to see you guys there. So with that being said, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really do appreciate it. As always, I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.